And starting on the Red Alliance, we have Team 7461. And over here, they're sponsored. Oh, Nathan, oh. stop. Wait. <laughs> they're sponsored by Black Lodge Research, Microsoft, Copper Forge, and First Washington out of Redmond. That's the Sushi Squad. Exactly right, now what I was told not to do. Over here, we have Team 9997. We'll learn their sponsors later, but they're from Mercer Island. That's MI Robotics 2. And bear with me here. It's 2046. They're sponsored by the Boeing Company, Washington State OSPI, Pinnacle Medical Wellness, and Flow International Corporation from Maple Valley. That's bare metal. Time to get first energized for Team 948. They're sponsored by the Boeing Company, HCI, Microsoft, and Google from Bellevue. That's NRG, the Newport Robotics Group. And Mega Splash for Team 5941. Sponsored by Washington OSPI, Microsoft, Crane Aerospace, and the Murdoch Foundation. They're out of Everett, and they're the Cast Iron Orcas. And last on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 1425. Sponsored by Apple, Lamb Research, and Xerox. Out of Wilsonville, Oregon, that's Error Code Zero. And I have no microphone. Error Code Zero. Okay, qualification match number one. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! Welcome back to our third and final off-season competition here in the state of Washington for 2022. This is the PNW Block Party here in Mill Creek. We'll start this one off with the autonomous period that we've seen time and time again here in Rapid React and all six robots moving here in qualification match number one, autonomous. As drivers now take the controls, the Red Alliance has a slight lead here, 22 to 6. <coughs> and we'll have two minutes and 10 seconds now of driver controlled action coming at you. We watch NRG here for the Blue Alliance starting off their cycle with one piece of cargo loaded up in the robot. They'll zoom to the top tarmac of the Blue Alliance side of the field and then race all the way to the left side of the field instead, chasing down the Sushi Squad. Sushi Squad out of Redmond there with the red, purple, and blue machine. In the top left corner of the field, they have at least one piece of red cargo loaded up in that machine. Try to get rid of it. They are able to do so successfully, and they'll put up two points to the Alliance score, joined by several there from Bare Metal as well. Bare Metal lining up right side of the field here. Layup. One lands, and the other goes astray. Two points on that cycle for red, and they continue to extend this now 38-point lead with a minute and 15 seconds left to play. we got two... Somewhat more defense calibrated robots here in this one. We've got the Red Alliance machine of MI Robotics 2 zipping around now. They first said hi to error code zero. They'll now race off to the left side of the field to say hello to the other robot I was going to talk about here. Cast Iron Orcas hooked up here. It looks like capable at least of climbing. Potentially some cargo scoring ability on that robot. But right now, just zooming around the field trying to make some openings for their Alliance partners and push some of those Red Alliance machines back and slow them down where they can. Red Alliance, however, leads by 56. That whistle sounding means it's the end game period here in qualification match number one. These final 30 seconds dedicated to rounding up any last cargo score that you can. And of course, heading off into the hangar zone to ascend upwards and accumulate three points for the low bar, six points for the middle bar, 10 points on that high rung, that second to last one. And of course, the ultimate goal there, the full traversal for 15 points. Bare Metal, speaking of a traversal, secures that one, 15 points in their Alliance score. No Alliance partners able to make it airborne there on the Red Alliance side of the field, so they will come just one point shy of that potential bonus rank point. We'll talk more about rank points later on. For now, we'll get this field cleaned up and scores to you shortly. Qualification match number one in the books, and it does end in a Red Alliance victory, much as your live score implied. 
Final score in that one, a whopping 92 to 12. Good morning. If you forgot your coffee, that should wake you up. Qualification match number two coming soon.